I greet you all with the sacrificial love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. May today, this Good Friday, bring us hope and peace as we move through these last moments of our Holy Week into our Easter celebration. I want you to take a look with me in the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse number 30. As we continue on moving to Good Friday, we need to find out what in the world about this particular Friday. What in the world makes it a Good Friday? To set the scene for us, Jesus has been drugged from judgment hall to judgment hall. To set the scene for us, Jesus has been whipped with the cat of nine tails all night long. To set the scene for us, he has been made to carry an old rugged cross up a hill called Golgotha with no skin on his back. This is not necessarily a good Friday, but this seems like it's more of a gruesome Friday then it would be a good Friday. But there is still some good, some good news to be had and to be told about this good Friday. So let's find out what good news can be shared about this good Friday. So go with John, go with me to John chapter 19, verse number 30. Text reads like this. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. This is one of my favorite sayings from the seven last sayings of Jesus Christ. It is finished. Jesus is hanging on the cross and after receiving bitter wine, Jesus utters these words, it is finished. With this statement, Jesus indicates that the effects of sin are finally over. That whatever hold or grasp sin had over humanity is finally done. Not only is the grasp that sin had over humanity done, but the debt that we owed was finally paid. The phrase, it is finished, is actually one word in the Greek language. That word is tetelestai. Everybody say it with me. Tetelestai. That word is literally translated as paid in full. Imagine that a debt that was owed is now paid in full. So that means that the debt of sin that you owed God is now paid in full. Now keep in mind that we cannot buy our way into God's good graces. You can't tithe your way into God's grace and mercy. You can't, you can't offering your way into God's grace and mercy. You can't give your way into heaven. There is not enough philanthropic work that you can do to get your way into heaven. I don't care if you are a billionaire or somebody struggling on the street. There is not not enough money in the world to pay the debt of sin that you owe God. To put into perspective the system of sacrifice that we had to atone for all of our sins did not and does not provide a sustainable solution for the original problem, which is sin. And through Jesus' declaration of it is finished, we are now able to live life free from the effects of sin. And family, I've come to give you some good news because while the Greek translation literally means that this debt is paid in full, our English translation gives us enough ambiguity to insert any and every sin that we could possibly imagine. We as English folk translate this word uh, to tell us that to literally mean that it is finished. That's good news for all of us because we all struggle with an it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are all victim at times to an it. That's good news because we all struggle with an it. That it being some sin. Yeah, we all struggle with sin. I know you might think that you are you are better, you are good, and you are great. I know that your Bible might be bigger than a two-year-old. I know that you might have more degrees than a thermometer, but I'm here to let you know that we all struggle with some sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all struggle with something that plagues us deep within. We all struggle with the collective effects 
and the societal effects of sin. And here, with Jesus' last breath, he reminds us that it is finished. And I don't know what your it is, but I've come to tell you today that it is is finished. I don't know what you are struggling with, but I'm here to remind you that while Jesus was dying on the cross, he declared to us that your it is finished. I don't know what your it needed to have been. I don't know what needs to be finished in your life, but I'm here to tell you today that it is finished. I'm not sure what relationship that was full of sin and evil intent that needed to be finished, but I'm here to tell you today that it is finished. Whatever your it is, the good news is that Jesus has finished it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because now your it no longer binds you up. Now your it, now your it no longer keeps you hemmed up. Now your it no longer holds you up from being everything that God called you to be. You are now free because Jesus said it is finished. And since Jesus declared it is finished, you are now free to be every single thing God had called you to be. You are now free to live life brand new. You are now free to go with God and to walk with God and to be with God and to exist in God, not the way that humanity wants you to exist, not in the way that the devil tried to get you to exist in, but you can now exist and live this life free from the effects of sin and from the devil and from humanity. And you can now live this life free to be everything that God has called you and ordained for you to be all because Jesus said three words it is finished let us pray dear Lord God today we do come saying thank you we thank you today because God it is finished I don't know what needed to have been completed and finished in my neighbor's life I don't know what needed to have been completed and finished in the person's life who might be watching us on YouTube but I'm here to tell you today that the it is finished it is over it is done. It is complete. I know it might seem impossible to believe, but God, today I pray that you help them stand on the truth that it is finished. So God, give us what we need moving forward into Saturday and on Easter. Give us what we need, God, to move forward with the confidence of knowing that it is finished. Help us to move forward with the truth of the knowledge of knowing that whatever we have struggled with, it is finished. So now, God, we pray that as we leave this place, but never from your presence, that your spirits will keep us and that your good, your Holy Spirit will remind us that it is finished. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.